But now we got to do internal rotation. Okay, so let's try that one. So can you move your chair back one, please? Okay, now for internal rotation, you might think we could do this, but this would be with gravity. So we have to first start out with trying to figure out what does internal rotation look like against gravity. And for that, we're going to have to head to the mat. Okay, I want you laying on that right arm because that's the arm we're testing, right? Okay, can you, can you lay out towards me though? Can you flip this way so that they can see? Not a girl. So, on this case, um, I need you to chuck your right arm down beside you. And I'm sorry for the audience that I don't have pillows in here, but we just don't have time to stop. So, I want your this arm out like this, okay? And now we're going to test internal rotation coming this way towards the ceiling, which is against gravity, right? Okay, so let's see if you can do that. Ah, uh, she can, okay? So I'm going to place her halfway. We've got good stabilization down here, so I want you to hold it and don't let me move you. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. You don't want to arm wrestle this girl. I promise you. <laughs> good. So that's it. She tested out as normal strength. Okay? So go ahead and sit up for me. So let's say that you couldn't have made that full range of motion there. Okay? I know now we've got to put you on some plane that we have no gravity. So let's come back to the table. Same position. And we're going to get back in that same starting zero position, get you to sit up really straight. Okay? And now as much as you can, Try to come all the way to your stomach if you can. Okay, wait. Let's keep this arm. Keep it straight right here. Though, I'm just looking for this movement right here. Okay. All the way. As much as you can go. Nice effort. Nice effort. Not quite full, but a really good effort. So in this case, we got four minus. And what I would do is take my goniometer and measure what that was, because I think next week we can get that next, that next few degrees. Okay. Okay. So if if I put you here and I don't see any movement, and it's obvious that you're struggling with your movement, you're really trying, I'm going to feel for what causes internal rotation. I know it's subscapularis, I can't feel that, it's too deep. Pectoralis major, I can feel. Latissimus, latissimus um, I can feel because it's going to come around to the front. Teres major, they're all going to insert right here in the front of, of your on the anterior upper part of the humerus. Okay, they all fight for insertion around the bicipital groove. So I'm going to put my hand pretty deep in there because I'm really feeling for a contraction. And let's see if I feel anything. Oh, yeah. I feel one for sure that time. So, so your grade's going to be trace. trace. Good girl. Okay. And that wraps up internal rotation. We did external. We did flexion extension. Now let's look at um, horizontal ab and adduction.